Ah, Florida. Land of oranges, sunshine, retirement homes, and above all, Miami Vice. It used to be the home of the Seaboard Airline, but the railroad no longer exists. Does it still shine in Train Simulator? We can find out at the rail yard. Seaboard Airline ran along the southeastern U.S. coast from 1900 to 1967. The simulated line created by Carrie Stevens includes the 90 miles of track from Tampa to Wildwood, Florida as it existed in the early 60s. The route has something for every type of train simmer. If you're into pasture trains, you can drive express services like the Silver Meteor. If you prefer road switching, there's a nice selection of industries. If you like yard switching, there's some pretty big yards to move cars around in. Now right off the bat, what catches your eye is the vegetation with a wide range of palm trees, shrubs, and weeds filling the Everglades. Although the frame rates on an average computer should be alright, there is an easy method for removing the weeds to increase the route's performance. Another thing that keeps the line interesting is the diversity of towns. You've got big cities like Tampa, industrial centers like Plant City, and small towns that dot the line. You're never just staring at a boring row of pixelated palm trees. Though the route has no major flaws to break its style, it does have small issues. For instance, some of the buildings take the pastel look a bit too far. A few of the cars on the road are too modern for the time period, and the texture transitions in certain areas are about as smooth as the back of an alligator. You can ignore these details, but they will appear if you scrutinize the route. I'm not really a Seaboard Airline fan, but you don't need to be to appreciate this route. Not only does the documentation include real passenger timetables, but a locomotive and rolling stock pack is also available. These models won't blow you away, but they are decent and they will save you time from having to hunt for SAL equipment in the file library. The included activities also help an outsider become familiar with the line. In a lot of ways, this route is like the great TV shows of the 80s. 
While it is an older MSTS route, it has a unique style that keeps its replay value high. For that, I give the Seaboard Airline my seal of approval with a final score of 94%. The route has something for every type of train similar, similar, similar. Don't use that one. Now right off the bat, what catches your eye is the vegetation, with a wide range of palm trees, shrubs, shrubs. Nope, that one isn't good either. Bummer. <laughs> 